Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Two videos in a month, I know it's unheard of, but I am back and today we are going to go through the process of creating a blank 5M server in 2025 using TX Admin on our local network. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is because a couple people have mentioned, hey, last time you did this video, you were using Keymaster. It was a lot harder to set up TX Admin at that point. You had to use like start.bat files and stuff. It has gotten a lot easier since then. So we're going to go over the quick install. This should only take a maximum of 10 minutes to do. Um, I am not going to cover opening ports on your local network because everybody's network is different. If you have questions on how to open ports and allow other people to join your network from outside of your local Wi-Fi, I recommend talking to your internet service provider or your ISP is what they call them. Um, and it's called open um, ports or uh, port forwarding. Both are options you can talk to them about. Um, and then you would just open the ports you use within uh, 5M uh, to let other people join. So I'm not going to cover that side of it. I'm just going to cover up the setup of the server and how you would drag in resources and stuff. I will leave the rest of the opening ports to you and your ISP. Um, so it's pretty simple. Obviously, if you don't want to host it locally and you want to skip that step, there are plenty of options um, now, not just Zap hosting. You have multiple hosts you can pay to set up your own servers um, and they all have like quick install uh, guides and automatic installs so you don't even have to do these steps i am not endorsing any of those i personally prefer to self-host everything i do um, so let's go ahead and get started on that so i'm going to leave a link to all of the things i cover down in the description with this page and the portal page um, but everything else is going to be done on our local server um, so ultimate easy setup guide for setting up your 5M server. Uh, you're gonna go to the Windows Server Build Listings. Um, this is what this page looks like. It hasn't been updated in a long time. The latest recommended build, uh, build is 17. What I like doing is sometimes I like downloading the latest build because they're still a bit out of date um, even with the latest recommended build. Um, so in this case, I'm gonna download the latest um, of any build um, for those servers and you can see it's just going to create a folder called server.7z um, and you're going to open this up with whatever resource or whatever um, app you have to open zip files windows has their own system if you're using um, winrar like i am it's going to open like this you can use um, 7zip whatever you like there to open it up just so you have this here and then i'm going to open up a new window in my file explorer and the reason i do this and the reason i'm not just putting it on my desktop is a lot of people ran into this in the last video because i don't use uh, onedrive for my desktop but if you're using onedrive for your desktop this isn't going to work on your desktop so what i recommend people do is navigate to wherever your local disk is so for mine it's local disk c and this is the folder where i'm going to create that um another folder to put all of this in so i'm just going to do new folder and i'm going to call this 5m tx admin and i'm not going to add any spaces in the folder name i'm just going to name it whatever i want um, and then i'm going to drag in every single file that we just opened up uh, from this 7zip file um, that we downloaded from the 5m website and you can see they are all in here currently now which is pretty simple. And if we go ahead and open up that documentation again, it pretty much just says you double click the exe file. It's going to keep it very simple and very easy. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go through step by step on how this works. So you're going to double click the FX server.exe. It's going to pop up saying Windows protected your PC. It's okay. 5M does not verify their app. So you're just going to click more details and press run anyway. And then you can see it's going to go ahead and start up FX server TX admin. Click allow access to allow it to access your um, browser and then it's going to open up a page here. If it doesn't open up this page, it's going to give you a um, URL here, localhost 40120. Um, and then if you go to that, you'll see this. It's going to give you a pin. So add this pin to your master account. Um, so you can see uh, no TFX account linked, but it auto filled our pin. We're going to go ahead and click link account. And then that's going to go ahead and link our TX admin account. And then this is going to sign in based on your TX admin form account. If you don't have an account, it will ask you to make one here. Go ahead and press continue. Obviously, this is going to be disconnected by the time you're watching this video. Um, so you're not going to be seeing this um, or this pin won't work anymore going forward. It's then going to ask you to make a backup password. In this case, I'm just going to make it password. Never do that. Um, but I'm just going to make it password password agree to the terms of service I'm not going to enter my discord UID for this and click register You can see then we are in our little server admin page here 
Um, and we can go ahead and make a server name. So I'm going to name this 2025 5M TX Admin Server. Very simple. Press next. Now it's going to um, ask you to set a uh, type of template you wish to use. We're going to click popular recipes and then we're going to click the 5M basic CF default server. The reason for this is I don't have any other servers set up. I don't have any databases set up. I don't have anything to connect to that setup. Um, so I'm just going to click the 5M basic default server with just a configure file required to run. Same thing I would get is if I was manu manually um, running this server without TX admin. And then it's going to ask you where your TX data folder is going to be. This is going to contain all your resources and configuration files. By default, it should put it in your C TX data and then whatever that server name folder is. I'm not going to change this. I'm just going to click save. And then it's going to say we're almost there. Go to recipe deployer and it's going to say, hey, something's wrong. Your server name must be at most 18 characters. So let's go ahead and go back. So please refresh your page and start again. So let's try this again. I'm just going to do 5M server um, and keep it at that. Very simple. Go through that again. CF default. Press save. Go to recipe deployer and you can see this time it did work. Um, so please review the recipe below, make any changes, and then click run recipe. So you can see it's going to go ahead and download the CF data folder. It's going to set that folder to the correct path, and then it's going to delete the download. Go ahead and do that. Now it's going to ask for your server registration key. Um, and this is the part that is a little bit changed since the last video I did. We used to use Keymaster, but now we use Portal. Um, they now call it the CFX portal so when you go here to the portal.cfx.re and log in with your forums account you're going to go ahead and go navigate to the server tab and then when you're up here on the server tab this is where you're going to click the big generate key now if you already have a key that you use for like your home pc or your red m server or something you can go ahead and use that by clicking the server id and copying it but since this key i don't want anybody to know i'm just going to click generate key we're going to create a brand new key and I'm going to name this 2025 5M Server Tutorial. And then I'm going to go in and click Generate. And you can see it is now generated a new key. Now, if I click this, I can now go ahead and copy this key or regenerate it. I'm going to go ahead and copy this key. And then I'm going to navigate back. Oop, didn't mean to close that. Navigate back to our Server Deployer tab and paste in that key here. And if you click Run Recipe, it's going to verify that that key is valid. And then you can see it has now made the TX data folder and it has our resources folder with all of our default resources and our server.cfg file. When we go ahead and click next, it's going to say, hey, do you want to configure this to your liking? What should your host name be? So 5M server built with 5M basic server. I'm just going to rename this again. 5M basic server tutorial. Make sure I spelled server tutorial correctly. 2025 project name i'm just going to keep that keep all of this local uh you can edit like your license key again your max clients again all of that if you're wanting free um eup uh make sure to set your max clients i believe it's under 10 now i'm going to set it to nine so that way you get that for free if you're using steam api keys you can set that as well i have a full video on that i'll leave in the cards and also down in the description if you want to learn how to set your steam web ip um api key if you're using something for that the rest of this i would just add default this also adds your uh default identifier that you logged in on uh, for your forms account as an admin to the server by default you can modify this if you want i'm going to keep it default and then i'm going to click save and run server and you can see it's going to actually start up that server now so it's going to check that license key it says it's valid the server is now online and running we are good to go now if you click resources you can see, you can find all your resources in here, see if there's any loaded. Obviously, we don't have any installed. There's the dashboard. You can see your server stats, your node memory, all of that running here. Your server logs, player joins, player leaves, all of that. You can also edit your CFG directly from this web interface. Um, and any time you need to start um, the web interface or anything, you're just going to double click that FX file, the server, um, the FX file, exe file directly from here. So the FX server.exe, that's how you're going to start your server. Um, and then this is your server directory. And obviously, if you go to local disk and you navigate to that TX data folder it's created, that is where your server resources are actually going to be kept. So if you're going to install resources, you go to TX uh, local disk, TX data, whatever that server folder is created, 
resources and you're going to drag in those resources here like I've done in every other video uh, previously. So now if we go ahead and start up 5M, we're going to go ahead and connect to the server. So let's go ahead and start up my 5M client, which is here. And to connect to the server, it's pretty simple. You can just use localhost as your IP because we haven't changed the IP. We're not um, port forwarding outside of our network. We can connect directly um, through our local network. And then we're going to be able to join the server. Just make sure it works. And then I'll let you guys install all the resources and mess around with it. Um, so to connect, you can press play here. And then when you're in this um, menu, you can literally just type the um, little side arrow. So left side arrow and type local host and you can see it will say hey 5m server recipe for your base mineral 5m server click to connect or press enter to connect and then it's going to connect to that server now if we open up our web interface you can see connecting is noodles that's my username obviously in our server log it's going to say noodles has joined with these identifiers so it shows my discord identifier my license identifier it shows i am online in the console as well um, and in our dashboard, it should say that we are going to have a player uh, connect in a minute. When I disconnect, it will also appear on the drop. Um, and that uh, now shows our used memory as well. So you can see our performance is 95%, 99% tick uptime, which is good. There's not enough data um, to show this at all, but this is a, a way to do it. You can schedule restarts as well. Now, obviously, if you turn your computer off, this is not going to be running in the background. Um, you have the history, you have the players tab, so you can see I have joined, I am an admin, my last connection, my first connection, any player drops who've disconnected from the server, any player history, whitelist requests, so if you are, are running in a like approved whitelist mode, um, you can add approvals in here, you can add your players in here, admins, obviously, you can see me, I'm a master account, settings, you can uh, see your FX server, restart schedule if you want to restart multiple times a day, um, bans, if you uh, have ban checking in, uh, if you have uh, ban templates, whitelist, again, disabled currently, admin only, you can do Discord server if you've set your Discord IDs at the beginning, whitelist messages, approved licenses, all of that. If you want your Discord bot, you can have this set up where it shows like your warnings channel. I'm not going to go through this. This could be a whole video on its own, um, but this is a cool setup you have. And then the game menu. When it's enabled, do you want to do slash TX um, by opening a game menu in game? We can show that off. Um, show ha admin names and punishments. You can see they're currently hidden. Same with announcements and everything as well. So we are in game here. Um, and you can see if I go ahead and type slash TX, um, it's going to open that admin menu. It's behind my Discord overlay there. I hope that disappears. There you go. So you can see I have an admin menu there. Um, so TX admin, rather than using like V menu or something, it has its own admin menu. So you can see I can no clip, I can teleport, I can spawn vehicles. What's the spawn vehicle name I want? I just want a car, click that, spawn that. Very simple. Again, TX would remove it again. And we are inside of our server. We have our TX admin server running here. Everything is working properly. Obviously, if we run TX again, we can heal ourselves, send announcements, toggle player IDs. All of that can be found um, inside of this message. Um, so it's a cool little setup. I do enjoy um, how easy they have made it now. It didn't used to be this easy. If you go back to my videos uh, from like 2020 or earlier, it used to be a lot more difficult. TX admin wasn't a thing um, that much back then. It was a third party. This is now integrated with 5M. Um, so it is really cool to see how far it has gotten since then. So if you have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments below, but it is pretty simple to set up. Obviously, if you need to restart the server or anything, you can do it directly from here. Just click the restart or stop the server or kick all players or send announcements. So you can even send an announcement that says like, hello, players from console. You click send and then it's going to pop up on the top there. Hello, players uh, directly from the top. Um, and obviously, if I want to restart the server, I can click restart and then I'm going to get kicked out of the server. And if I look at console, it's going to say server shutting down, kicking all players. Then the server is going to restart itself. And now back on our disk, uh, dashboard, it's all going to restart because, you know, we restarted the server. And we can see that we sent a log, logger started, it has restarted, I spawned a vehicle. All of that is now in your log. Um, so it's a very uh, s easy, simple system now uh, to run a 5M server. So hopefully this helped you. I know we're a little over my 10-minute uh, mark. 5M crashed in the background. That happens from time to time. Um, but... If you ever need assistance with this, let me know down in the comments below, but hopefully this is easy. They also have a support Discord. You guys can go to the 5M Discord to get support with using TX Admin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this server. I don't need it open anymore. 
obviously all my passwords and everything and all my license keys are going to be changed by the time this video comes out so none of that you will um, be able to copy but hopefully this did help you thank you so much for watching today's video tx admin's great really enjoy it love the new uis as well uh, so keep an eye out for more videos coming soon and i'll see you next time bye everyone